Productions. We're with, look, stop, stop, stop. Living Urban. That's yeah, because you've got to get really close to things with this 360, not with this, but 360 is a bit different, so there we are. But yeah, Luke, as you can see, he's from a company called Limit, Living It Urban Limited dot, uh, Corporation of America. So, yeah. But I come with a British accent. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's a weird one. They're hiring in the UK at the moment, so yeah, here he is. He's the CEO. And it sounded, doesn't it, CEO? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. CEO. How blind are we? Yeah, well, no, that, that just goes into that bit. No, that... But I mean, the last time we were playing for a hole, didn't we? Yeah, no, look, see, there's a, there's a hole in the fence somebody's put a, through the wood now, look. Do you want to walk through the wood? Better, it's, right? even, it's even easier. Because we were here the other day. Nope. That's brand new. Somebody smacked a hole through the wood, and you can uh, you can even push it apart, you know, to kind of. Yeah, okay. Two abandoned houses up there that belong to the base, which we haven't done. They're both abandoned. They've got kinetic written on them as well. Here you go. Oh. Well, we've done this one. This is we actually haven't done this small one by here, strangely enough. So this dead. We haven't done in here. Let's have a quick look then. Lots of chairs. Office equipment. Oh look, look, it's one of those, um, I was going to say, huge dymo machines like that does on the big tape like that. Wow, it does those type dymos. God, they've left some stuff behind here. Wow, look at all this. It's almost like a complete office. It's nuts. This one's nuts. Bloody hell. Look, a bloody water machine there. DVDs, what's this then? Mrs. Doubtfire. Wonder why they need that in the uh, in Kinetic and Oceans 12. Why would you need that if you're in a government testing facility? That's what I want to know. Yeah, old files and folders and stuff. Mad! It's absolutely bonkers. Bonkers. Yeah. Oh, look at this! Oh my god! It's a security room! Oh. We missed this every time we came here, we missed this! Not a million years on my show. They must have had all the monitors up here, you know. Emergency services, 91999. So they don't just dial 9, they've got 91. Fountain Gate. Hello, Jimmy Savile Helpline. Sorry, it's becoming a thing. It's becoming a thing. Hello, look, accept or alarm. What's this then? Alarm states? Alarm. Panel. I don't know, it's weird. Mitel. Mitel is a telephone company. And this is, um, this is weird. This looks like a touch screen or something. Scroll. There you are, guys. Site map. Oh, yeah. Bloody hell. The size of it. Ah, somebody said the H building. There is a H building on here. And these are all uh, magnetic, look, you can pull them off so we can we can confuse some people now. So where are we now? We're... Well, Fountain Gate is one of the things they mentioned. That's Main Gate, isn't it? That's Main Gate. That's we Main Gate. Gate. We might be. We might be. Yes. Yeah, that's us here now. We're at seven. Yeah. So, so we're at seven. We, so, so H is where yeah. the bunker is, right? But guess what? The bunker ain't there anymore. The bunker's now there. Oh, hello. So, so it's actually next to all of this? Yeah. And, and look. That's now Bernard Lovell building. And that's the mm -hmm. Alan Turing building. Is now, is now not even on the site anymore. Look. 
So you can get into this one anytime you want because it's not on so on the site. Guys, if you want to move house, <laughs> all you have to do is go. I'll move to America. Yeah. Done. Like, Job done. That's, that, that's your house move. Just go on the maps and move it. Like you'll see in a minute. Like literally, that has because we've done that and we moved over here. This building yeah. will be over there. That's, that's the one. Um, this is what we think of uh, Jimmy Savile's uh, television broadcasting empire. Smash it in. Is it? Security mm. Massive the fire control. Oops. Dispensers in the kitchen. In there. Uh, food rooms. Toilets. They've got a lot of toilets in this building. Must be public toilets and private toilets. Oh, it's like an old military uh, thing and a safe. And a security camera. Is it colour? It's Philips. It's a bit old school. Digital camera, but it's got an analogue out. I reckon that's probably colour. There we are. Security cameras. Locks. Locks with keys in them. Wow. Somebody's got a camera here and it's all smashed up like a Sony Mavic camera. I don't know. Whoa, look at this then. Firearms. Firearms only to be stored in this container. It's a firearms cupboard. Firearms, yeah. Wow. Whoops, it's easy. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's a firearms cabinet down there. It's uh, locked, but yeah, it's down there on the right. Look, the last one before the right, or second last on the right. You see it? I think you might have gone past it there. Firearms cabinet. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, it's kind of looking to lose then. I think I might have to, uh... I found myself a Sony camera, I've been trying to buy one for ages. Oh yeah, I know, it's just highest quality, um, yeah. It's better than that. That's, that's just top quality, mate. You just just have to, just, like, sellotape the memory card inside it. You all right then? Smashing it, bro. Yeah. That's a new form of the world, the 8K cameras that are coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you just strap four of those cameras together next to each other and you've got an 8K camera. Wow, this is... Oh, look. It's a bit of a secret one, isn't it? To be drilled, Alan T. To be drilled. I think they, they're not able to get in there. Somebody's marked it up, drill it out, you know? Ah. Needs disconnecting, no longer monitored. There we go. They haven't disconnected it, though. They just walked away. Excellent. Yeah, it's a big old Dymo tape machine over there that makes those big labels that go on things. Oh, hello. I know it is, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Where are we then? 60th of a second. We did. I'll pop that in. So, we can go straight. No, we can go straight. We can go straight down uh, the back end to the uh, the bunker if you want. So we never got down the far end. Mm. And what I think it is, because this this that we've just come through is one entrance. Well, in fact, it says it's the main entrance. And you've got an entrance to that end, which is now got blocks in front of it. But some people might have come in from there. So they've obviously hit that end first. And they've come to the bunker, which is in one of the closest buildings on the farthest end of the base. So it's down there. Did you, think, did you go into that bit? Mm -hmm. Did you go into that last time? Yeah, we did, yes, yeah, we went in there and uh, there was something on the window which was rattling but it didn't make the same sounds as we heard that night. But it, it was, um, we got to have a quick look if you want to sort of, you know. Yeah, I'd want to get the footage for these because obviously I won't Yeah, in. yeah, let's go and have a look where it was then. Just go around here. See those steps 
that's that's a separate section of the building you can't get in you can't get in from where from that side of the building to this you can yeah but this building is separated from there to there this is a separate wing is that the asbestos stuff in there then i don't know what that is i mean it was okay in there oh is it a hazard suit oh my god yeah there's lots of uh chucked stuff yeah there's like a pool of something yeah yeah, but why would they... Emergencies. Yeah, just a bit of extra water for emergencies. There's a lot of places you sprinkle systems through that. Yeah, the only way into this um, allegedly asbestos building is around the front front door. We tried all the, the stairs around the side and they were all locked off, every single one. Yeah, so... Oh, there's a... See, when you come up here at night, you miss little things. Like there's this uh, slide door. In fact, I think we see that because that's next to the lift. The lift is further down in there. Whoa. So, yeah, we got these buildings. That's quite a long building in there. That goes downhill. That's interesting. And I think that back there is a theatre. You know, with the three, the three circles on. That's a tall building. It's like a theatre. So, uh, the head camera needs to come forward. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Leaning backwards at the moment. Is it leaning back? Yeah. It doesn't matter because right, you know it, it will yeah, self level. Does, yeah. yeah. It's just going to see a bit of back of my head if they turn around. Yeah. If it's a GoPro, yeah, you'd be in trouble right now looking at the floor. It's weird to think because this site is that big, we actually wouldn't know if there's other explorers on it either. Yep, indeed. Completely different in the day. So, this is the building where we had the crap. And see that up on the window there, directly above? That bit of flappy stuff. That's what we were kind of wondering whether it that's was. That's what we were hearing as well that night. Yeah, but it was. Uh, that's what we were thinking it was possibly, but after the reviewing the footage, it's yeah. quite an item that it's not. It's not, yeah. So we had to, we'll get it to you normally, and you'll hear what it is. Right. So here we go. This is the lift, and we've got the stairs. Now, have a quick look now. But uh, that where we were just passing outside. That's the uh, slide doors. This is the inside. It's a bit of a filter plant room. We climbed up the ladder to the top. There's a big ladder inside there. We climbed all the way to the top, went oh, round. That was room where we were, I'm sure. It's sort of. Yeah, we could see it. We could see it, but you couldn't get down again. It was like there was no way in. So the only way to get to where we. Well, I'm noticing right now because there's no doors. So I want to go up open. Yep. So we can see the hole in the roof that we were looking through and it's somewhere over there. I think it's over there. Yeah, yeah. in front of the lift. Yeah, that's the hole. Oops. So, that could have come from. so we're going to go. So this is the mysterious where we heard the footsteps. There's no doors. No. Nope. But that was definitely a keyhole door. It sounded like somebody with keys, and that's the hole in the roof that we were looking down through. There, there would have been no way down. We'd have had to have dropped in. We were up there. So yeah, I dropped that straight away. We were, yeah, that's, that's the ladder that we climbed down to get to there, and it just stopped. Yep. And then we were looking through this bit down to here, but then you had keys and a door. As if somebody was coming this way, it sounded like, coming from this way. So where's the door? Well. There's no door, but you've got a crappy window that was making some flapping sounds, but I don't think that was it. But there is glass on the floor, but not where I'd expect somebody to be going crunch, 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 because, I mean, there's not enough glass to do the crunch, crunch. So, you know, nobody crunching in this room, nobody be crunching in here. So it's like we were hearing something that wasn't there. I'm determined to find this door, I'm not giving it over to you. There isn't a door. Which is weird, isn't it? There was. Did your camera pick it up that night? Yeah. Did it get the same? Did it sound like keys and footsteps? It sounded like jangling keys. 
It sounded like somebody uh, and some in the door. Footsteps. And then the crunching of glass as they were walking, like crunch and defeat, crunch, crunch. But there's no glass on the floor to crunch. This is going, this is going too far. I know, this is miles away now. This isn't where this would have come from, the noise would have come from. So, on another note, guys, if you believe in paranormal, I'm going to put it down to that personally. Yeah. Because nothing else on the hell of her can explain that. Yeah. Maybe this was the way through, but we, we hadn't worked out how to get in from that side. We, we overlooked that by the looks of it. So. Yeah. So that's the weird one. But so you know, guys, I'm going to drop that footage in. Watch that footage over and over again. Tell me what you think that is. Drop it in the comments. Well, drop it's mine in. Out, drop mine in next to it, so they've got something to compare. They've got yeah. two comparisons then. Yeah, yeah, two comparisons, two different videos. Drop the comments. Let me know what you think it is. This is one of the reasons why I've come back today to find out what it was. We've come in daylight, try and prove it. There's no answer to it. And I thought personally it was going to be security. But they couldn't have had, you know, it was so dark. I thought this was a completely dark area, but it was still dark enough to not be able to walk around safely. Maybe. You see them from here either. The only bits of glass, there's, little, there's one little bit there. There's a couple of pieces here, but again, you'd have to be crunching and crunching on it. And there's nothing to really like that here to be crunching around on. And that would have maybe, let's just simulate it. You can tell. Right, you do that and I'll come over here and tell you if it sounds similar. I'm going to go right to the edge of this room. Okay, so listen out carefully now. Doesn't really sound like what we heard. No crunching, no keys. It was definitely keys, like I've got no other way of explaining it. Do you want me to do it so you can have a listen? Okay, here we go. Ready? So. It, it sounds like plastic, doesn't it? And we've heard plenty of that whilst we've been going around this place. So. It sounded like masses of gla glass and somebody going crunch, crunch, crunch over the top of it and breaking it down as they were walking. And it doesn't seem that there's that. Yeah, guys, that's, that, that's the unexplainable. It's freaked comment. us out. Just tell us. Very freaky. Tell us what you think. That is the worst experience I've encountered in this kind of thing. I've determined it's going to be some sort of security. That's just a lift. And again, that's just. And to be fair as well, I mean, I, I came back with an intention of finding out what was going on. I wanted to go straight back to this place, but it made me feel a little bit better about going back here in the day, to be perfectly honest, <laughs> just in case. Just in case there was something there. Yeah, man. So do good as a we return. What was that noise? Yep, we light on. Pointless. <laughs> it's very uh, nippy sight, this, isn't it? You know, a bit cold up here, a bit windy. Did you get much on the drone? I did actually. I mean, I got some the other day. I flew all the way from that end of the base, and I flew right around the base, went round individual buildings quite closely. And I did some pull-ups, which are obviously going to be in the video. And uh, I went up on the hill, the Malvern's up there. I mean, which are pretty high. You can drive up there, and it's a popular tourist destination, that. And I flew up there, and you can looking right down on the base. Very pretty if you fancy coming here for a visit. Do go up the hill. Make sure you go up there in daylight, because you can see counties. You know, you can see from county to county. It's that good a view. You might have to still see the drone. Oh, you're welcome to it. So this is the what we classed as the top secret lab, <laughs> the ET lab we were joking around saying, but uh, some people obviously take that very seriously. 
the fact that we said that. Yeah, where, we, where we went in with all the laboratory stuff, um, the, bigger, the bigger section, that's in here. Um, insane, like nothing can explain what's actually, what's actually in there really. Um, they ain't tested cocoa pops in there, that's for sure. Well, yeah. In the weirdest. I agree. <laughs> in there, we went in our goodness in this video. It looks like a human lab. Only the one. It looks like they were testing on humans. Which is pretty crazy. Now that... The size of this is unreal, isn't it? Yeah. We didn't even touch it. Now, I, I haven't done that bit over there. I did that building. That's got a secure server room. Some of those uh, windows, look, they've all got bars on. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it was called the Criminal Investigation Wing. So it was doing uh, forensic and data, data recovery. So they would have been looking into people's hard drives from a government level, not a police level, government level. What can you get off a hard drive that's been erased? And uh, believe it or not, you can go back multiple layers of what people have deleted. You can go back in time. And, uh, you know, even if it was when they first bought the hard drive five years ago and it's been overwritten and overwritten and overwritten, they can go back in time like slices through a tree and they can recover it. And these are probably the people who invented that technology or were using it. Oh, yeah. So these buildings here, once you get in, they go down. Yeah. It's like a long corridor that's going all the way down. Ah. Yeah, we ain't touched any of this, guys. None of this we ain't, we ain't looked in, so this is all daytime for you guys. And our part two return. And then back there, we're done. Do you want to go into any of these? I mean, um, they were they were mostly just rooms with the usual the usual tat in them, like, you know? Yeah, yeah. We'll leave that for now. We can always come back. I wanna, we already have a couple of hours, haven't we, today? Yeah. So, so you can see the satellite dish up there, which is around about that position which is still in use that part of the facility is still in use so we won't get too close to that one just yet um, you've usually got security on site at these places when you've got things like diggers but i haven't seen anything yeah and and that's why the buildings are are in use which i'm assuming is is that one yeah security and sometimes they patrol the area but they might do but ha 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 Voila. That is an interesting building and it's got a strange thing built yes. onto it. So, any guesses? If you don't know, guys, you're about to find out that there is our bunker. Oh, yeah. That's the one. Now, if I'm right in saying this is above ground, isn't it? It is above ground, but it looks like a, an underground bunker and it's got features and fixtures and fittings that are really quite modern and you, you know you don't see them in the old bunker so much so, this is modern just an example guys imagine that down underground now if that is underground that's the size and the scale that they're building underground and we have no idea that it's there this might be a baby size one actually because yeah, this is yeah. this is mainly the control center you know where all the secure stuff goes on and uh, the alarms and everything like that you know they build bunkers quite a bit bigger than this but this is the section that uh, they obviously have all the c command and control from and the war room as well That's which is really thing. funky something like that oh, this, this is on a small scale as well something like that there's hundreds of feet underground yep big old satellite dish there yep now I think you can go in you can go in that way. There's a, there's a number of ways in. Do you want to see if we can get in that way? Oh, hey. See the size of that blast door? This is just one door. This is the outer door. And you've got inner doors as well. Door. Just to yeah. Inform guard force. Look, the uh, lock mechanism still works. So if you get caught on this side, guys, just run down here and close the door behind So, here we go, let's get ourselves in. Should we lock it? It won't unlock now. You've got to turn turn the handle before it'll unlock. 
There we are. So, we've got a goods lift. And that goes up into the bunker. We've got air filtration equipment. And notice something, this is the outer shell of the bunker here. All metal. It's to shield from electromagnetic pulses and also to stop any radiation of signals from in here being intercepted from outside. So, a bit of a step down, but you see gas airtight doors here called knife edge seals. So, lots of uh, power sockets on the walls. You can imagine how many computers are in down here, just in the amount of sockets area. Yep. Now, if you notice over here, you've got. Um, where would you Where would you say you've seen this before? Because I think I, I think I kind of sussed it, but these are off the shelf, but quite useful for bunkers. Straight out of the fridge, isn't it? Normally. Exactly, yeah. And you've got seals, seals, and that's off the back of a fridge. But in here, Is that, yeah, exactly the same as the back of like in a restaurant. Those. That's it. You've got little rooms that have got, uh, you know, quiet so people don't get seen with what they're doing. You know, secure, secure rooms. That's crazy, isn't it? Yep. And uh, there's another one here. And they've got some servers in here. Oh, actually, there's still stuff here. Oh my god. Wow, that's a UPS that is. It's a UPS, there must be tons of batteries in here. Uh, I can't see them, but I reckon there is. It looks something along those lines, I think you've got to make something out. Yeah, this is a big, big UPS to run things for an hour or so, at least. This would be their secure data room then. See if we can see these batteries on the back. Oh, it's all, it's all hidden away. Big input cables and big output cables. 60 amp, 60 amp connectors on that. So yeah, big old stuff. Do you want to go and have a look? Yeah. I think these are 100 amp, aren't they? One of these, uh, these are even bigger. Big, big, big. And security window with a curtain. Um, yeah, that's for that room though. Yeah. So you can go out and around the bunker. Twice it might have been a vehicle reversing yeah, or something. Say, yeah. Now there's different doors here which are electronically controlled which of course now that there's no batteries in them don't work at all so you could get easily trapped in somewhere like this if you weren't careful. Uh, there's no way to operate that door and we've got another electronically operated door and you can see the outsides of the tin. I heard it then. I heard beep beep beep. Yeah. So he's been cable cable diving. Yeah, you go right round, that's the way we came in. So yeah. It's amazing how secure these places are guys. I just remember normally these are hidden underground. shielding and James Bond security doors exactly like at the Caution Computer Centre 
they got these underground there, two of them. MI5, MI6 buildings in London, yeah. they use them there too. And they lock you in if you haven't typed the right stuff in or your, your card isn't recognised. Oh, that's for well, obviously security purposes, isn't it? You get mm. stuck in there. If they can't get you out, I suppose, then you're caught. Cool. Yep, you're nicked. Yeah, so. Look at that door? Yeah. Let me know what I just said there in terms of door. See what he thinks of this then. Oh my Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Reaction shot. <laughs> no, this is, this is pretty mad. Mm. So guys, if you don't know, this is the meeting room. Conference room. Whatever you want to call it. And I'm sure what they actually used this one for, but... This is where they'd say push that big red bloody button. Yep. I think the old design was, was there so that map people with maps yeah. down here could be pushing things around with sticks. And they used to have it so there was big stuff on the walls and they could write on the walls. But of course now, you know, more modern bunkers, probably all screens and video projectors and stuff. But they still kind of kept the old design so the, the high, high um, ranking people are upstairs shouting down to the lower ranking people down here. I didn't look in the toilet actually, considering this is inside the base now. So we've got male and female, so this is inside the bunker. Oh, they're not smashed up. Would you believe it? They're not smashed. And they're actually quite clean. Uh, yeah. That is so unusual to see something. I ain't taking the risk, but that's pretty clean toilets. It is, isn't it? Hmm. I'd quite happily take a wee in it. Yeah. Um, You've got your air filter stuff, which is always seems to be on view in bunkers. They don't hide it in case they need to get in there and do some work in an emergency. This is bunker. We'll probably use this house for some of the pods up into. Yeah. We've got, um, oh yeah, well, it's just for the fans actually, isn't it? It's just fans. But yeah, this is remarkably good condition. I wonder if the lady out of it because it's smashed up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's oh. not a simple thing. Good condition, and they've got a, a sanitary incinerator. That's pretty clever. Yeah. Don't see many of those these days. There's no water in the bog. No? No. Mm -hmm. Allen key? An Allen key? Yeah. Where? There's an Allen key on the floor. Yeah. That's a big one, isn't it? Oh, okay. Thank you, not many people say that about me. Where? So we've got two more secure conference rooms or something, which we looked at the other day. So we won't dwell, I won't dwell too long on this one. But for Luke's purposes, this is something he hasn't seen. Ah, now somebody's put that against the door. That wasn't like that the other day. Somebody's done that. Somebody's put this against the door so that when you try to get in this way, it... Oh, no, hang on, no, you can still get out. Oh, yeah, but that, I'm sure that wasn't there the other day. This is to outside. You see the extra bunker door there. So, and this is to the outside. I think this is spring loaded, that one. So yeah, you can see the rest of the base from here. See the rest of the base. There's a few cars in there. All up there. Oops, I better turn my light down. So you're not blinded. Views upon views. Quick jump about the bloody ladder there and get through Yeah, sorry. Did you go for the roof? Yep, yep. There's, I, we didn't go up there the other night, we didn't bother, but yeah. There's two ways up to the roof. For some reason this one is more secure. That one goes to the roof, yeah. Oh yeah, that one goes right up there. Let's go on top of the super roof then, of the bunker. Doggies barking in the distance. You can see a bit of Malvern here as we ascend. And there's still more to the base we haven't seen. Oh, there's the security huts and stuff down there. But is there anyone in them? Is there anyone actually there? I don't know. Well, Nice view. 
let's have a look around. So that's the new base over there. This is a nearby school. Part of the old base again, with a strange roof. So I wonder what's on underneath there. That looks like a strange building. I'm not sure. And then we've got, uh, uh, I suppose that is east. Uh, well, that's that's west. Sorry, west, south, probably east. An old school building or hospital building up there. But uh, you've got some nice old buildings up on the hill there, look, as well. Oh. Sounded like somebody was here then, mate. Sounded like somebody... Oh, yeah. Somebody's smashing shit up, mate. Why do they have to do that? We're going to meet the pricks now, probably. Why do they have to smash shit up? God. Yeah, it's by the um, kiddies or something. It's definitely on site. Somebody's in here smashing stuff up. Definitely, it was like, it was like bash, bang, bash, smash. Yeah. I mean, why, why would you need to smash stuff up? It's all open. You know, we've been in here. We've seen it's all open. So you don't really need to uh, do too much. You're just going to walk around the building and then see whatever you want to see. I can't see the point in it myself, but there we go. What would I know? So we've got the upper upper floor. Let's go in and have a look quickly, and then we'll get onto some of these other buildings that we missed last time. So I'll probably speed this bit up because you've uh, already seen this stuff. Well, actually, not not by day, haven't you? You haven't seen it by day, so. Here's the bunker, get the old lights on, so if Luke knows where I've gone now, but let's have a quick look. See the eye beams are all covered in um, fire retardant material, which is what was supposed to be in use in the buildings September the 11th. It was supposed to be co concreted and fire retardant eye beams in case of a fire. Didn't seem to work very well, did it? Let's get him in here. Show him where we are. All right, mate. Yeah, here he comes. All right, so. Uh, Weird, you've got like sirens here, which are, you can see what's inside them, look. You can actually see the mechanism, it's all done in plastic. A bit bizarre. We did it. Absolute madness. So yeah, guys, you can imagine, like, up here would be all the computer nerds doing their stuff. Down here would be all the paperwork nerds doing what they need to do. They are important people as well. Like these ain't these ain't nobodies. These are people we're probably never ever gonna hear of. It's mad. But what were they doing in this laboratory? That's that's, that's initially what it is, it's a science lab. Uh, Does a science lab need this? Yes, I mean you could say it's a science lab because it what they were appearing to do was um test bunkers, test out bunkers, test the doors, test the mechanisms, test security systems, see if radiation could be uh, detected inside and outside, you know, um, whether people were, could, could hear the radio signals through the walls, so they would be sniff, snooping on what you we were doing inside, and uh, whether it could withstand an EMP blast as well, 
which everyone assumes, but I don't think they can actually test it very well because there's nothing apart from a nuclear bomb that can create enough of an EMP to be testable. But they assume, they've done all the kind of guesswork, and they, they think that these buildings will withstand EMP blasts. So, hmm. you could all find that all, everything in here just goes down like everything outside, and they could be sorely mistaken. So, absolutely mad. Is there much more of an outside or just the way out of it? It's just more of the same and we can go into the other building if you want, which just adjoins this and Indeed. work our way out. Get the social media stuff in a minute. Okay. Right, so heading out of one level of the bunk. I can't see why they need a, a blast door up here considering it's it's got an open bit to the underneath, so the, any blast from down there would come up here. But this is, you know, this is the thing, see, they're just testing stuff out. Uh, and this one's unusual, because look, not seen one of those before, look, you can actually, oh, it's actually look. Yeah, it's got a window through it. It's got a window. It's like, Hello. You don't see that very often. So obviously this is a different door to all the other ones we've seen. So that just goes to show they're trying every type of everything. Yeah. You know, to see what works it's best. Bloody French, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe those people, they got to keep them cool in there, so put the air conditioning on, chill them out. If you want to go in this thing, you can come round back here. What is going on? Yeah! yeah. Oh, it's not really weird in general anyway, so it's a key card to get in there, but not a key card to get in everything else. Yeah, you've got, a, you've got a key card on one side and a key card and a pad on the other. Yeah, so that's, ob that's obviously coming in, but yeah. you don't need it. A lot of them, what you'd have is a keypad inside, so you swipe and get in, swipe then you do, in, it, then you do another it. number, and it can rotate and lock you in there from both sides. See these bits here? Yeah, yeah. So. Mad. That's it. And it physically makes no sense when they've got such an easy access door here. So this is in the to the other building then. Bit of a draft through here. Right on draft through here. Probably yeah, just push this door to try and stop the draft a bit. Oh look! <laughs> They've got a do 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 on that to stop you uh, coming in and out. Network cupboards. Never seen a site really as big as this for this kind of barbers. It's pretty mad, man. I think that's the um, that could be where the security is, if anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Over there. Oh. Let's see if we can find a way out. I'm thinking we're going to bump into some kids or something. Big old photocopier there, big ass one. It's a pretty big beastie. Let's see if we can get down and out. So there's going to be kiddies somewhere down there. Yeah, it's going to scare them. They might think we're security. Getting windows smashed, windows smashed. Yeah. I can understand one window, but why do you want to smash all the windows? You know, if you're smashing a window to get in somewhere, but they're just smashing it for fun. We might end up going through one of those smash windows, and I'm saying that. Uh, I don't know, you get out now. Yeah. Oh, this is the back of the back of the bunker then. Oh, that looked open. That's, That's open. open. It's open. Lots of uh, office equipment in here. Desks and desks and desks and desks. Should pretty much make this a tinder box. Now this one has got a strange roof on it, circular roof, so I don't know what they 
recording there. Doors are open. This is BY block. Bravo Yankee. Bravo Yankee block. It's got a stubby little block. Don't know where the loop's gone. Interior guts of one of their things. What are these then? These these come up and down to tell you status. Look, status flags. It's a, stat a status board that's got flags. Look, you know, little flags that come in and out, probably with a little window. And depending on the state of things, whether or not the flags are pulled down through the window. You don't see that very often. Don't see it at all, mate. Yeah. And there's lots of lights up there telling you if stuff's on. Big old room. Big old empty room. This building looks quite small from outside. It's not too bad once you get in. Now oh, that must be the side door with the shutters. Now this looked like it went all the way to the roof and it had a circular roof. Now, I wonder if it's going to be really tall. And it is, look. Oh, look at that. Look at that. What do you reckon that is then? Did that used to lift up? Looks like fiberglass, but did that used to lift up and then something come up out of here, like a satellite dish or a missile or something for testing? Because this is a tall room, isn't it? So you look at the scale of this room. So this building was actually a part of the radar establishment that was based at Malvern, and they were developing radars such as Type 80, which were World War II radars, and then they were trying to develop in 1956 the next stage in radars such as a thing called Blue Yeoman um, which was uh, apparently uh, some some of the newer sort of technology there a type 82 radar and uh, this building was created in order to house what was known as the Blue Ribboned radar but um, as it was previously called Blue Yeoman this was codenamed the BY for Blue Yeoman building Almost like that was meant to be removed because the way it's designed. Bizarre. Something definitely got to be bad. Hopefully, we might get I think we can get on top of this roof actually. Yeah. There's a little bit of a stair outside as well. Yep. So, more cable, cable runs. Strange decorations, splodges. Yeah. Very cool though. Not something I personally have, but. That's. It's, um, yeah, it's got a hollow underneath it, isn't it? Yeah. This is a bit more solid. May have been old cable, cable ducts. Or power. Power stuff. Empty. Oh, yeah, Empty. This has got some unusual light lighting pods, which have been taken down. Some more sodium, sodium lamps, but like fashion, fashion sodium lamps. Oh, Jesus. That goes down a bit. Yeah, it's a bit deeper, but yeah. Yeah, it's always just what we were saying. It goes downhill, doesn't it? Mm. So if we just kept it level, yeah, that one's not as steep. Though. Is this um, thing on my head still flashing? Or is it on? Mm, it was literally uh, about ten minutes ago. Yeah, it stopped, didn't it? No, it stopped. Yeah. yeah okay. So light off. Do you want to go upstairs or? Is it same bit better? I haven't. No. Just go up and have a look. Oh, oh, he's a bit flimsy. Yeah. feel a bit weak though, don't they? That's a tall old building over there, look, as well. Tall doors. I was hiding something as well. Yeah. I mean, what would you need something that tall for? Getting a missile in and out or something? Oh, and you 
can get out, oh you know you can't get out into the roof, <laughs> you can just fall out. It's a radar, radar um, dish, cover for radar or satellite dishes. There's the main base up there. Big old rooms. So somebody told me this place is, is earmarked for um, houses. It's had the, it's had the permission, permission for houses. So this is going to be the last time people get to see these buildings before they're flattened. I think it's been granted, yeah. But it's going to be right up against the uh, existing base. Darkened walls in this room for some reason. Right. Okay. Yeah, that would be interesting. Let's find out that. I think it does lift. Okay, doc. It seems quite likely that these uh, stairs on the outside are more sturdy than the ones on the inside. Yeah. Where's that? Oh, it's one of those security ones that, like. I scaled down my camera bag to just a tiny little bag today because I normally have a huge camera bag and uh, it weighs me down and it was like hurting my back last couple of explores I've done so I've got the key here to stop us going up so we're going to have to climb over so Underway. No fl highly flammable, no smoking or naked lights. I don't know. It's got an alarm up here on the ceiling. I don't know. There's something that's definitely smoking important, isn't it? Look, look these, these, these lift up really quite easily. Yeah. So I reckon they were meant to come out at some point. Look, an emergency telephone on stairs landing. Why would you need an emergency telephone out on the roof of a building like this? Yeah. Doing experiments on the roof, aren't they? Maybe there was something there. Maybe. Flammable, no smoking, or naked Maybe there was a big satellite up here, like over there, and they just covered it over. Maybe the mechanism was in here. Maybe it was a big dish. Yeah, could be a big dish on there. Yeah. Like that, but... And they fabricated this because they took the dish down, so they just need somebody to cover it up, possibly. I, I like the idea that something came up out of there. <laughs> oh, look at these. Oh, can you imagine trying to walk on that? Around the edge? Look at this. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. They're the bloody. They're nice no, line. no. Where's Ali that, when you need him? That wood. Where's, where's Ali when you need him? Whoa. But why would you need wood around there? Again, you see, why would they need a wooden gantry around this? Unless whatever was here was so big, you, you couldn't get close to it and you had to stand out. That's nuts. Any ideas on what this was, please? Does anybody have any clue what was up here? Because that now is a bit of a mystery, isn't it? Look at this gantry around the edge. And that is a ropey gantry. That is well rotten. I wouldn't want to stand on that in the days that it was in use. No, not even when it was, yeah, fully in use. Rotten. I wouldn't want to stand on that in the days that it was in use. No, not even when it was, yeah, fully in use. Give me metal well, any yeah, day. We even had a health and safety report on that, and it was top notch. We still don't understand on that. What is that? What is all that? It's a madness, is what that is. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's the emergency telephone they were talking about. It is here, folks. We did try to find it. Was it? Uh, what's the numbers on here? Six 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 nine nine nine. That's a, that's a Jimmy Savile outline, isn't it? Bloody hell. Jimmy Savile. It's right throughout this base. Jimmy Savile. 
has had his left his mark. No unauthorised movements. Sign in the bottom underneath stairs. Yeah. Radiation hazard. Ooh, Radi it could be radiation from radio waves though. Like yeah. ionising radiation. Ow. Oh, shit. Yeah. Now here's a picture of the actual satellite which was sat on top of that uh, that structure and this was a blue yeoman radar it was uh, later called bison and this was from 1985 and it would have been a very familiar sight to anybody living in the malvern area where it was continually spinning around what's that big switch gear in the end or pipes water pipes so there's definitely no security on site that we can see they've got all their plants well all their digging equipment over there but if there is security there they're the saddest security known to man because they're not doing a very good job of stopping people wrecking this site i just they probably just don't care do they i mean if a place like this was looking intact there would be a case to say don't um don't go there and uh you know take it apart and turn it into houses but if it's wrecked then they can say oh yeah turn it to houses then possibles What's in this little room then? This little block. Ooh. Ooh, shit. Yeah. Mm. Old switch gear. Not a lot. God, I'm falling a lot. <laughs> I need to look down more instead of looking at the camera. Yep. So, don't say anything, but uh, these could be the people who would smash the place up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> All right. See anything interesting? Not really. No. Not in that one, anyway. Yeah. Be so careful not to get caught. Wow, well, is there people here? Can you get caught? Yeah. We've been in here three times. We've been in three. Yeah, it's going to go on YouTube, so say hello to YouTube. Oh, hi, YouTube. Hi. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Better not show your faces. Have you not got caught yet? No, not at all. No, we got caught because some idiots were having a fire and we were over in that far building. Yeah. And the guards, one sweeps round and two come down the hill. Right. So we had to run all the way across just to get out. How many viewers have you got on YouTube? Uh, 14,000. Wow, Fair we enough. can wait. What's our YouTube channel? It's the Secret Vault. Yeah. yeah. It's one word, the secret vault. Shout out our Instagrams. Yeah, go on then. You do it. It's vape spam. Vape he spam. Is, I don't even know what his is. Hold mine on. is Yasmin May underscore X1 and this is mine underscore dot Millie underscore dot XOXO. XOXO. He's got an unusual one. What's this one? Uh, I don't even know what it is. No, on Instagram. I don't even know what mine actually is. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, that's quite memorable actually. I don't even know what this is. Wait, I, yeah. Can I find you? Yeah, the secret vault. Um, we had people smashing stuff up. It wouldn't have been you, would it? No, no, no of course nah, it wouldn't. Course no, the they, they look too. They look too nice too for that sort of thing. So. Yeah, all well, that was inside there at one point. Oh, we took there. it out just to have a fire. There's like camera. There's like computers and stuff there. So the people brought this out and set it on fire. No, they just tried to have a fire in there. Oh right. They brought everything out. Yeah, look, it's a camera equipment with, um, yeah, some sort of uh, video recorder. Is that a video recorder? Or a, an old computer? It's an old computer. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's quality 386, look. The secret fault does not compute. Computer says now. Yeah, they do like watching like later on at night when they're smashing. 
I have heard that like armed police came down here and, and chased off some people we knew. Yeah. Armed police came in here, which was a bit weird. What do you reckon they had in here then? Well, looking at the chain and stuff, I'm guessing like engines. Yeah, engine equipment, yeah. They used to do like a seat in our room here and people just set it on fire. So, how long have you been managing to get in then? Like, you know, because it's been abandoned for like a year or so, isn't it? A couple of years or? Well, um, some people like, have. We've been able to come in for like, the last couple of months. Yeah. Right. Yeah, my friend said to me, you better get in there before it gets knocked down because they're going to build houses all across here, apparently. It's all going. It's going to be flattened. How did you, how did you get in, like? Um, at, right at the top, there's two holes in the fence. Now, there, there's wooden slats as well, and somebody's knocked one of the wooden slats, and you can move one apart and get in that way. There's also a way down there. Is there? Yeah, yeah, but you have to walk through, like, a school to get there. I was going to say, that's that's pretty bad razor fence there, but, yeah, it's really insecure up the top. Yeah, it's yeah. really insecure down here as well. No one maintains it, so... Yeah. Get in anyway. Cool. Well, nice to meet you guys. Yeah. So, you, you know where to follow them now? Yeah. 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 See where else they've been? I'm living at Urban. Yeah. All the best. All the best to you. Yeah, cheers. Let's just check. Do you do you guys watch Ali Law? I watch Exploring with Josh. Exploring with Josh. I've met Josh. Yeah, he's been. I asked him if he was going to come here. He hasn't replied yet. Yeah, yeah, exploring with Josh. He said, like, Do you see exploring with fighters? Yeah. Yeah, I was out with Dan the last two days in Bristol. <laughs> Watch out for me piloting a boat through the, the harbour and have a look what's behind the boat and see if you find it funny. Because it's not just my boat. It's a bit of a piss take video, but I think you'll find it funny. <laughs> uh, this will probably be about a week. Cheers. It's like, do you know Ali Law? It's like, I thought, that's a universal, like, yeah. peace, peace gesture. He's like, do you know Ali Law? Yeah, yeah, right, you're in. Nightclub, you're in. <laughs> I thought the youngsters are going to Ali, know Ali Law, aren't they? Just got to say uh, that there are a lot of people on this site, and uh, I'm not suggesting in any way that those kids were involved in uh, what was being heard on top of the roof, but... Um, you know, if they're explorers and they follow the exploring channels, they should know the ethics, which is you don't smash stuff up. So it probably was other people on the site. And uh, yeah, but it seemed like a nice bunch. But I thought I'd just say that. So we've done pretty well so far. Then maybe because we haven't been smashing our way around. I don't know. It could be. I don't, I don't see any, no, I don't see any hate buildings. No. Might have been the way it used to be. Yeah. This here. It's like a crosshair. The cross that's crosshair. on the map. You can see a cross, can you, on the map? Yeah. Right, but guess what? The bunker ain't there anymore. The bunker's now there. Oh, hello, so, so it's actually next to all of this. Right, okay. But it is like a gun site, isn't it? Which is basically what these people are developing. That's the way we came in. Yeah. Let's follow it down and we're around here. If I'm right. So the circle a bit, maybe where they've already flattened over there then. Mm. Some stuff that's gone. Yeah. Oh, locks off. Thank you very much. Oh look, it's got people's faces, look, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, look, let's get him, let's get in focus, right here we go, it's people who worked here on secret projects, prototype structures, processing, sensor systems, laser and free space optics, optical services. So if you want to make a badge, you've got their photo now, and their name. A nice photo of them. You would have exposure, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Photonic structures and the processing. This might have been a while back, they might be like doctors and professors by now or something.
We've got Phil Gorman, Andy Lewin. Well, they shouldn't leave this stuff behind, really. It's personnel information and personal details. So, they're going to leave it behind. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Sorry, man. <laughs> it's like, what's he doing? He's like doing all these moves on the floor. It's like, I suspect he's a break out. There's some dance, dance routines then. Two minutes and then I'll blow it. Who the hell's that? Oh. <laughs> Alright, so we've got down that way or up that way. Or yeah. that way. Oh my god. Just do it as quick as we can then, one stage at a time, see if there's anything interesting. No. No. People are gonna be like, Matt, you're going too fast. No. No. It's like starting no. down the centre of the market, isn't it? And working the way up. Yeah. No. Oh, there's a lab equipment. Is there? To the left. Oh, yeah. Bit of a lab. Bit of a lab. Oh, yeah. More of a lab. Are you going to see this in the other video? You may take that one. Yeah. That was what was written on the front, by the way. He wasn't suggesting that we were going to do that. <laughs> Back feels much better with this little small bag on. I'm enjoy I'm properly enjoying that. Maybe we should take a wing at a time. Wow. No. Labs. Ooh, quite high. High labs. And more segregated labs. So, there we go. Lamina Flow Systems Limited. This is a secure look. The vents going up the back of the building. Old school. One of those is gone, been sold or whatever. So it's gone. Bit of a lab down here, mate. So we've got like a secure area. Ooh. There's some labs down this end. Quite a lot. Yeah, and there's a secure lab in this section. There's another lab around there. But there's mean to do that. Kiss something on the floor. Ooh, x-rays. X-rays. X-rated. Oh, hang on. I'm not in focus, am I? Idiot. Sorry, folks. You may have been struggling a bit then. I don't know. Here we are. This has got x-rays in this room. Non-hazardous assembly work only. DI deionized water, DI water, deionized town water, town water, wash down. It's like yeah, river water, town water, and clean water. Again, like um, view screens from outside, so people can watch what's going on in here without coming in. Interesting. Oh, mag, magna helic, inches of water, and some sort of rega vault, some sort of maybe to adjust the speed of the vacuum stuff. Ah, what's this then? It's a little air duster. Air duster. Dryden. 
what the end is for on it. Mm. This is just a few old, old school labs, look. Very old school, like your schools would have had. Here's marks on the floor to get out here. Yeah. Arrows for way to get out. And some old equipment. What's this then? This looks like a rectifier. Main switch rectifier output switch. This looks like um, something for a big old arc lamp or something. Arc lamp or a, some sort of welding. Maybe it was a big old. Sort of like a welder, yeah. Yeah. It's connected into the mains as well. Hmm. Rectifier. We're at the back of the base now, I think we're against the fence line here. Yeah? Small building there. Right around the back now, isn't it? No. Oh. Sixteen twenty six go out half an hour. Half an hour till it gets dark. There's a couple of places, little upstairs is for God knows why. Little building. It's just uh, sandbags. Sandbags and oh, coloured light bulbs. Oh no, coloured balls. Uh, some sort of experimentation, no doubt. Satellite. Satellite reflector. Hmm, it's a military satellite reflector by the looks of it. But that would be quite wide band. That would be very wide band because of the gaps you can see there to trap a wide signal and reflect it in. So that must be quite low, low band. Um, not many gigahertz then on that, probably. Anybody got I, I, any ideas how many gigahertz you would be you'd be wanting to do with this? I'd say 900 megahertz. Direct 900 meg. Not gig. Yeah, checkerboard patterns and paint. Yeah, it looks like kiddie sort of area, doesn't it? It's got potential to, it's got a site, quite a large site to have something like that. Yeah, maybe they've got a crash, daycare. crash daycare, yeah. I find that still in there. Poison, poison the kids, like, at the same time, like, do, do experiments on them. Just drink this. Some sort of antenna mast, yeah, antenna. Mast and sentry, sentry, uh, little building there, maybe. Is that, is that building that could have had the uh, large thing on the roof, the fiberglass thing on the roof, that's over there. Almost looks like, do you know what it reminds me of, now I look at it from that angle? Um, radar for like an airport yeah. or something. Imagine a radar, zoom, yeah, yeah, zoom. Yeah, because I normally like an octagon, is that anyway? Yeah, I reckon they tested radar in that building. Mm. They might have invented radar in that building, because apparently they did have a lot to do with radar here. Need to spread it to Ooh. Oops, it's secure this built building. No entry without permission. Loud noise environment. Ooh. Let's get that 
first time we open the window. <laughs> Don't want to get locked in yet. Yeah, it's so a control room. People standing up here look a clock. Yeah. Look at the clock up there and oh, a gantry here. This is something you'll like. It's a control room, isn't it? Missile systems, NBDA. So what we stumbled across here is MDBA, a company that provided missiles for the MOD, and it's known as the Future Local Air Anti-Modular Missile. And it's basically something that was uh, purchased by the MOD. And as you can see, this would have been the, the room that they tested this equipment in before it was allowed to be used. It's only just come into service now in 2020, as, a, as I understand. And it's been deployed in places like the Falkland Islands, which is uh, for the protection against uh, boats and aircraft. So it's a multi-purpose missile and it can be shared between stockpiles for the Army and Navy so they can both use it. Um, so it basically comes out on vehicles like this and it's fascinating to think we're in the control room where the British military actually tested this and you can see the signs up on the wall. FLAADS APOD SPOD FLADS FCC TEL 1 and 2 and TEL 3 D, E and S for the Navy it's Navy Missile systems, this was probably where they had a missile control room so they were testing missiles in this room. And Saab as well, look. Testing Saab missiles. Saab, or maybe testing the Viggen aircraft. G-A-M-B-S. A-S and Cram. A-S, GAMS. A-Pod, S-Pod, MOB. So I reckon mobile means mobile launcher. S would mean static. And A might be, I don't know. Aerial. Aerial. Static, mobile, for the Navy. Or oh, is that the Air Force? No, it's got wings, isn't it? That's, what's SAR got to do I think it, it must be Air Force and Navy. Saab, Saab make cars, but they also make aircraft. Yeah. Like the Saab Vig it's got a sword going for it as well. Vigan, yeah. That's a joint Army, Air Force, Navy, I think. It's all three. So is this to the outdoors then? Yeah, it's a fire up, So this was a control room. L3 communications, yeah. It's so yeah. a very loud room as well, so I don't know. Yeah, it's a warning when you come into this room, it's loud in here. Lockheed Martin. Oh, Lockheed Martin, oh my god. You know what they make, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Stealth bomber. They make the stealth bombers. The F-117A. There we go. And the... Um, yeah, I think it's the F-117 Lockheed Martin. There you go, Kinetic, yeah. Kinetic, yeah. Kinetic, um, Kinetic LCMRS. Yeah. Hmm. So this is where they'd have done a lot of their firings and testings and there's all their fibre optics collections on the floor. Oh, big old door. But, yeah, from in this possibly secured facility. Front door unlock. Somebody's been checking out the drains. Some water, water bottles. Toilets. Wow. Big old building again. With some big doors. Bit of a lab, workroom. Bit of a smell going on in there, some weird, chemically smell. Everyone's been flipping out on my uh, my video of this place, going, You shouldn't have gone in there, it's dangerous. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. You're gonna be like messed up, yeah. God, this place does go on, doesn't it? What's that, sorry? 
Yeah. Yeah, it's deceptive. It's like a TARDIS. Non-bread project. Look at this. Project non-bread. Dates one woman. Contact Ghostbusters. Have you seen this? Um, special project, mate. Just found a load of folders with codes in. Whoa, look at that. Special projects, mate. Code names. Non-bread. I've also got code names in here. Yeah, one woman. Pro contact Ghostbusters. <laughs> I've actually got stuff in it, so I've pulled one out, have a look. Whoa. Source code listings. Circo. Source code. Vector network analyzer contract. A network analyzer. Well, network analyzers are not that secure. No. HP, VNC source code for HP software and design. I just pulled out the Network analyzers. Yeah. No, it could have been good. But that's that's um, commercially available things. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Weird. Could be a radio room. This something to do with radio and testing equipment. Two hundred and forty volt AC. Huh. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> And uh, a head of um, air conditioning, air conditioning head unit. Oh, look at this room! Metalized, completely metalized, with metalized doors. It's all metal. Everything, the ceiling, everything, metalized. And then metalized doors here that you can close independent of the outside shutters. How bizarre. Yeah. This this had to be a quite an important building then really, I think. Juniper security products. Juniper security products. Loads of ratchet straps. Yeah, man. God, if only you needed more ratchet straps. I do. Well, yeah, you know, you know, you can't uh, take anything. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, shouldn't shouldn't ever do that. <laughs> yeah. This could be covered in crap. Is this uh, going to be open then? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's open. Cool. Oh, we're right on the back of the base now. Oh look, there's a fox. Oh, there he is. He's running. Fox, 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 fox. Ripping it. Is that a fox or a cat? No, that's a fox. I'll tell you what he's done. Yeah, it's straight out, isn't it? Basically that for this place, isn't it? Hmm. I think we've basically done it now, haven't we? I think that's pretty much it. That's the back and a bit of lower security Harris fencing here. But they've flattened most of this. Some of the kids that we met said they get in from somewhere over here. So look at the back of this building. Now there's its doors. So that's like a proper hangar kind of door, isn't it? Hmm. Fire station hangers, yeah, that sort of thing. Like you can see the bunker building, look, quite well. That's yeah. the bunker building. So, nice. So it's just sort of like finding our way out now, really. Straight up and out. Could do, yeah. Near, near enough to... Well, I tell you what would be interesting for you to see is inside that thin building, red brick, yeah. um, there's a, a, like a secure server room and it actually has like uh, vents in the floor. Looks like a modern secure, uh, secure server room. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you're interested in that. You just... Go on, be open, be open, be open, be open. Looks open. It's open. Here we go. 
Thank you. Yeah, we didn't go upstairs, but it's down here, the, the, the interesting room. The server stuff in it. So you've got there's lots of stuff in here, see? There's like, look, I didn't even look in these rooms because people were like in a bit of a rush. What's this like? Amp. Amp. Radio gear. Radio stuff. Uh, rack servers. Oh, it's just the filters, air filters. Cables. Hmm. An old Hewlett Packard office printer. I used to use one of those in the past. Holding area for students. Student holding area. Hmm. Police tape, look here. Yeah. What's that then? Police. Police tape. I reckon something went on you, mate. Look. It has literally got police tape for this room. Why? Hmm. Police tape in there. I wonder why that would have been. About, well, yeah. Oh, actually, look. There's lots of police tape up on. Maybe when you got broken into that live. Yeah. Yep. I reckon the servers are actually in in here, server room. Well, where they would have been. Here you go. Yeah, this is it. Um, I've got servers here. Have you? I'll come through this way. Are you in the right room? Are you in the same room or? You in the same place? Yeah. Oh my jeez. It's like server racks and stuff. Oh, well, this isn't where they do communications. Yep. Suspended floor. Yeah. But a lot of heat coming out of this room for it to be like this. This is a prime example of guys, what they show you in the movies and they tell you it's fake. Is it really fake? This was put in in 2006. So, 14 years old. That's all that equipment is. It's not that old, you see. You know, this is a new server room for new computers, really. Anyone thinks it's out of the ark, this place was in use. For real. You know what I mean? Like, literally, they, they sit there and tell you the stuff is fake on the phones and that. That was the first time I've noticed this already. Yeah. All for our access, everyone. Fadubi, Bem, East, Tights, Girls. Right, so I think we've basically covered most of. Uh... Yeah, come on then, because nobody wanted to last time. I was wondering whether it was going to bore you actually. <laughs> oh, let's do it then. Let's do it all. Didn't you go to see it? Look at that, it's like a keyhole. That's a keyhole. Praise Bob Dobbs, you have found the eternal fountain of the slack. Please do not go in. Through the day, selling body and soul to a bunch of bland normals, acting stupid so they'll sure. think you're one of them. Rip across space and XEF sock, rip across space and. That, that's built into the wall like a key. Trying to. Why are they doing that? Yeah. This is what I call never understand. So, black hole.
destiny for the abnormal. For God comes to justify. Man, we're shooting a pretty good job with the house, aren't we, like? Bob! <laughs> Yeah, luckily it didn't actually... I filled it up with smoke though, pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty smoky in here, as you say. Oh, the windows are covered in smoke, look, and it's gone down as far. See how the smoke's in the upper half of the room? It's gone to the ceiling first before it's gone down to ground level. Yeah, they set something on fire and it burned itself out. Yeah, don't, don't do it, you just give us a bad name. Yeah. We've got bad enough names as it is, we don't need your help. We've got a bad name ourselves. Yeah. Oh, 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 God, I'm, am I glad to get out of that bloody trip hazard? Trip hazard, yeah. Ooh, more. The, the excitement continues, I think it did, but we went through the keyhole, didn't we? We didn't see it. Which one went entry now? The same switch on buttons. Right. Oh, and again. And again. And again. That would have been a safe, safe thing on there. Ooh, this looks interesting. Servers. Server room. A couple of uh, cupboards. A couple of cupboards in here. Do, do, through the keyhole. Oh, more servers. Do, 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 do. Lots and lots of police do not cross tape. Future pilot RAF. Oh, I've actually pulled the back of this um, safe lock off. Future pilots. Hmm. Where is it? Why do they have a load of like what looks like lead in the back? It's a heavy element. Line them all up. That's it. It's fine in the little things. Line, up. line one up and then turn the next one. Once you find one, you got to then oh, turn back it. the other way. It, right. So go around. Yeah, that's one on one side. That one is for that side because of the look at the angle it goes in. That one's for that side. So line that one up, then turn the other way. Oh no! All right. That's got to be the final one then. It's the ones that that end turn, and these ones keep turning. So There's you got locks that normally helps. How does it like shine? Mm. You can feel where the clicks are, isn't it? Yeah. Right. It's multi-directional. It's got to be like coming from the right well, direction. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Right. There's a pin there, look, inside now. Yeah. That's right, when you go, you've got to turn, like, five times to the right, three times to the left, two times, one time, turn and open so the door. I've got that, I've got that like that. somewhere or another. Now, you've got that one, but I can't get that one to catch.
They probably so got that. Bit of when these down. ones latch, then these will come down, but they won't come down until those ones have latched. So they do yeah, it in sequence. A, ding, ding, that, ding, that's ding. That's a lock in it there. That's what needs yeah. to sit in. Yeah. So I just need to get that back one. If you look at the little, you can see the hole. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, that is for that, isn't it? That's yeah. that hole. That sits in there. So oh yeah, you're right. You're right. All of that there to play with, but I just can't get. Yeah, because you've got to go back two or three times to get it to turn yeah, the other ones. There, right. So I need all of that, so I need him there. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, so now... That should. Now you... No, it hasn't gone in. It's probably more. Do you know what I think these rollers are for? To fool you if you're listening with a thing. So it goes tink, mm. tink, tink, tink. They're to fool you when it goes over that thing. So you can't tell when they're lined up. So you've, got like, you've got to go all the way to the right like five times, like five times to the right, and then you've got to get it so it lines up on one of them. I can't see where they are now. Yeah, here we go. Oh, man, there's a little bit here. I didn't even see that bit, so now I have one more to go. Okay, let me see if I can see it down through there. Oh, I see, yeah. So you keep going until you see where they've like lined up, like that, and then you go back and then it starts to turn the other ones. See like that, it'll turn that one, but it won't turn the one behind it. So you've got to get, got to get the one behind it lined up. Like that's the one, no. So that looks like that one, then you've got to go back, get the second one to move, just like that one, which is now wrong. Bollocks. Where is it? Yeah, Where sorry that? folks, I ain't no safe cracker. Whew. Drill it out. I'll drill it out for you. But yeah. But they all gotta line up so the pin drops. And then you can open the uh, handle on the front. an exciting, exciting place, full of, full of exciting urbexes. Wow. Pipe room. Oh, we've got another keyhole, another keyhole. The windows are all smashed out up at and it's a high level here. Oh look, they were, they were, look, they were using Norton Utilities. Uh-oh. Oh, is that toilet flushed? Uh-oh. Yeah, that's when they went bust. Here's the stairs. Uh -huh. Was it? Oh, another one. Time for, I was going to say time for, time for Teddy bye-byes, but apparently it's time for Norton Symantec. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ooh. Lift shaft, lift equipment. Ah, yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go, lift equipment. Mr. Curbs. Mr. Curbs, we'll show you what's up here, mate. You want to get around here? You can play with these lifts to your heart's bloody content. And what's there then? Trap door. Trap door. Trap door, lift, ooh, lift trap door. Watch that one, that's the one that goes down. Here you go, here's the lift. Right then, should we do the honours? Do the honours. Five release, do you want to spin? So fast it goes first. It's, it's down on the ground anyway. Anyway, that's the... That's the brake release. So you'll have to spin it up. Oh, 
We can't do any damage here because they uh, get rid of it anyway. Here you go, so it's released. Up is not really telling Here you go, look. He's doing it. It does it itself. Oh. That probably happen. means it's going to the ceiling because they, they, they're normally weighted to come to the come to the top. Oh yeah, yeah. There so we, is can, a, we can bring him up. So, yeah, look, so we can see him there. Look as well. Can you see it? Do it lightly so we can take it down. Yeah. No, just do, do it. I'll do it on the brake. Oh. How's oh. it going down? Can't tell you where to get this down, will it? No, do it up. Bring it to the ceiling. Oh, it's the speed, speed thing probably. Speed thing. When it goes too fast, it trips out the speed thing. Ah, let's get the shit out of me. <laughs> What the hell was that? That was the whole chain. Oh, that was the, cha that was the chain falling down the, yeah. the thing. Right, well. Remember, for kids, be careful. That's the drop there. So I'm not going to step on that. I literally don't trust lifts. What's the And, yeah. So, if you want to learn more about lifts, watch Curbs' videos. Mad guy. I won't touch him. Am I, am I hearing noises? Try to catch someone's in there with us now. Hmm. Get out of here before all the mates come. The lift door should still be open, we'll see the hole to the... Which one, the bottom hole? Yeah. But ground floor, the, the door is actually open. So we'll have moved, moved the lift and just be able to see the hole now. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, it's bang, it moved. There he is, folks. You can smell the dust though. Yeah, and there's the springs. And there's the counterweights. Counterweight system. And it's a Schindler's Lift. Not Schindler's List, Schindler's Lifts. Don't play around with lifts, kids. Do you exactly about to open that door then? Uh, uh, I was going to try, wasn't I? <laughs> so. Yeah. Right, guys, I'm gonna up and out, I think. I think that's about it, so yeah. Thanks for watching, I think we've covered it now, so we've covered everything on the base, so thank you for watching and we'll catch you again soon. That's just um that's, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we are finishing now, so thanks for watching. This has probably been about six hours of exploring kinetic and we haven't explored it in the gr most granular detail but we've given you a bit of an insight before it gets leveled and a bit of history's been lost so secret vault subscribe or don't we'll send the boys around if you don't yeah apologies um <laughs> been a long one probably gonna get two out two videos out today and uh 
It's getting late. It's 1.20 in the morning. This is often how it ends before I start rendering them. And it was just a little bit late and I've had too many to drink. So I apologise, but I couldn't help getting surreal in the middle. Um, yeah, I should send you some links for funny videos that were included in this, but um, later. Thanks for watching.